Well, good morning. Trucker Todd here and time for a Friday video. Um, now, a lot of you guys have been asking how's the truck doing? Have I got any updates on the truck? We're going to cover that in this video. Uh, but before we do, I want to remind everybody it's Labor Day weekend coming up. Traffic's going to be crazy. It's actually one of the most fatal weekends of the year. So be careful if you're out on the road. Uh, take that extra time stop. If you can avoid driving during the hours when drunks are out, you know, say midnight to 2 or 3 a.m., find a place to park. If you got to be out, just keep your eyes open. Be extra careful. Also, folks, if you're at home with family, uh, do a cookout. Have some fun. Enjoy your time there. As I'm recording this video, my wife's over there making me breakfast. So you may hear some background noise. But anyway, this one's going to be super short. Let's jump right into Friday's video and get you updated on what's going on. This is why I do this, why I'm out here, why I keep that hammer down. Flying by these road signs, with home on my mind. With these wheels turning round for my family and for my kids. For this life I want. All righty, we're back. Before we go any further, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it on your social media platforms. Right below the video, you'll see the opportunity to subscribe. Click that subscribe button. Wait a few seconds, a bell will pop up. Click that bell and then select all, and you'll be notified when future videos comes out. Um, and it will help the channel a lot as it will increase it in the algorithms and make it possible for more people to see my content. All right, speaking of social media platforms, if you look down in the description below, you'll see my email, you'll see my Instagram, you'll see my Facebook there. Please feel free to join me on those platforms. If you're not comfortable leaving me a comment below, uh, reach out to me on one of those other platforms and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Also, you guys know that I love it here at Dark Transit. Right now we're having some truck issues, but I still love it here. They've been great for the most part. And so, uh, if you're interested in knowing more about coming to work here at Dark Transit, maybe some dedicated opportunities, maybe you're interested in some company driver opportunities, or something like that, my recruiter's information is down there as well. Give her a call. Tell her you've been watching Trucker Todd. Give her my driver number of 58180. If you call and she's gone to lunch or she's out of the office, it's very possible with Labor Day weekend come up. I hadn't talked to her today. She may be off today and Monday. I don't know. Uh, leave her a voicemail with that driver number of 58180 and she'll get back to you. If you really need to talk to somebody today, you can always email me or uh, if you get somebody else on the phone, just make sure you give them that driver number of 58180. It really helps me out. All right, let me tell you what's going on with the truck. Um, it's been in the shop now eight days. Uh, you may have noticed in the thumbnail, I put the error message it was pulling up on the dash transmission fault. Then it would shift funny. Um, it's been there eight days. It sat there about six or seven days before anybody really looked at it as best I can tell. Um, they have had to escalate it to Packard Tech Support because they've found the problem, but they don't know what the problem is, if that makes any sense. So basically, when a, when a code pops up, on the computer of a truck or any vehicle for that matter. I used to be a service rider, so I kind of understand these things. It will timestamp it with a date and time it occurred. And they had like five pages worth of stuff on my truck. So it was definitely tripping that code, but they don't know when or what day it was happening. So um, they don't know how frequently it was happening. This could have been happening over two years and there's no way of knowing and that's information they really need. The codes that are in there could have been from a long time ago 
and have already been corrected so it could be a new issue that's not registering and so for that reason they really need those time stamps um, a major setback that we had was somebody from dark called the shop and told them that they knew these kenworths like the back of their hand and what i needed was a deaf quality sensor now it doesn't take gm goodwrench or a master mechanic to realize that um, the deaf emission system has nothing to do with the transmission but because the person from dart that made this phone call to to the shop did that it did delay things because then they found themselves checking out the deaf system which there was no problems with this really upset me because um, there could potentially be extra diagnostic fees that I'm set with because of this and uh, it's all just a circle chase for nothing to get accomplished so I was very disappointed that somebody at dark did this I tried to get the shop to tell me who it was um, so I could speak with this person at dark directly and the shop didn't log his name or so they say so I think we're beyond that hurdle now and we're just waiting to hear back from PACAR Tech Support for more details about what this could potentially be. Now, you got to keep this in mind as I mentioned in the video a minute ago. This is Labor Day weekend. So that means, uh, how can I say this nicely? The techs probably aren't the most motivated they are ever going to be today. They're thinking about what they're going to do this weekend and it's a long weekend for them the shop will be closed on monday so likely they'll probably look at my truck very little today let's be honest monday uh well tomorrow's saturday they may or may not be in there i think they're working tomorrow but probably nothing will get accomplished and uh monday they'll be closed so it's likely going to be tuesday before anybody even looks at it again at which point we'll be at somewhere around 12 days in the shop. Uh, Thursday will be two weeks of next week. So it's a little frustrating. It's a little scary, not going to lie. I've got enough money to get me through till probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, to date, I haven't had to take any loans or borrow any money from Dart. Uh, that's something I hope to continue. But... Um, We'll just have to see how it plays out. I did survive the first of the month bills, um, as far as I know. I've got so much stuff on auto pay, it's hard to know, but I think I'm okay for now. Um, for some reason, my wife has stopped cooking breakfast. <laughs> and so I'm going to figure out what's going on there. But uh, as I get more information, I'll share it with you guys. And we still are going to do the uh, Dart one year review, but. The reason I've waited on it is just like the example I've given this video where somebody called the shop and totally delayed things because they didn't know what they were talking about. And uh, so I want to be able to include things like that in the one year review. I'm sure they had good intentions, but they really just delayed things. And so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I wish I had more to share with you at this point. It'll probably be Wednesday before I put out another video unless something comes out between now and Monday that's worth making a video about. So you guys have a great Labor Day weekend. Uh, celebrate even if you're working. And we'll catch you next week. Y'all have a great one. Bye-bye.